Hello, bonjour everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril, I have been a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And for today's video, I want to talk about a very specific study which is basically my guide to survive isotretinoin, also known as a Rakuten or Accutane, like in France for example, it, it is named Accutane and this treatment is meant to treat um, acne. This is definitely the most um, efficient treatment that currently dermatologists um, have to treat acne and most of the time this treatment is recommended when the other ones, so basically adapalene for example, benzoyl peroxide, a mix with stretinoin and etc. did not uh, work. So this is obviously a treatment, this is a medicine, this is not something that you should um, seek over the counter. It is for a good reason because there are lots of side effects. Most of the side effects totally make sense because one of the effects of azotretinoin that is going to shut down all your sebaceous glands so your skin will be extremely dry and we know that the sebum is at the root of acne we don't exactly understand why some person have acne and others don't but for sure if you shut down the production of sebum you no longer have acne so this is a wonderful treatment especially if you are struggling with acne this is a treatment that i did when i was probably uh, 21 years old if i remember correctly but it also goes with a lot of side effects one of them is extreme dryness of the skin with extreme sensitivity extreme flakiness on you on your lips that are extremely sharp. I remember when I uh, took it, if I didn't put a bone, my lips just crack immediately and were bleeding. So it sounds and looks very, very uh, scary. And the list of side effects is also very long, but this is not something that you should be um, uh, scared of. This is a very old treatment. There is uh, nothing new. Uh, dermatologists dermatologist so basically doctors knows a lot about all the side effects and if you have a good dermatology they are going to do some blood tests and will do a lot of follow-ups with you to make sure that the treatment goes uh, smoothly and perfectly but just know that during the period of this treatment so around three months this is uh, completely normal to have those side effects and the aim of this video is really like to help you to cope with the side um, effects but always talk and speak with your dermatologist and never try to do this treatment um, on your own. And if you have some worries about side effects and etc., just ask your dermatologist. And also one major point is that if you're not happy about your dermatologist because you feel that you don't get the answer that you want, you just change. Change and seek an other doctor. So before I start with the routine, I just want to first tell you that you absolutely need to stop all the actives. So the other acne treatment that you may have used before and that have basically uh, failed you or were not uh, that efficient. So no tretinoid, no adapalene, no benzoyl peroxide, none of this, but also in over the counter actives such as any form of AHS, so of acid, of glycolic acid, mandelic acid, lactic acid, even the most gentle one, you just have to stop them. This extreme this is extremely important because you don't want to add to the inflammation that you will have with the isotretinoin, which is completely normal. My second tip is you need to have an extremely clean skincare routine. By clean, I mean no essential oils, no perfumes, no uh, weird botanical extracts. So if you see a long list of ingredients with a lot of plant extra, just stay away from it because Again, you don't want to add to the inflammation. Your skin will be extremely dry, which translates with an impairment of the skin barrier, which is normal with this um, treatment. This is a good sign that it is actually uh, working, but it also means that what you are going to put on your skin will do even more uh, damage than it uh, should do when the skin barrier is very um, healthy. So basically, no what I call um, nasties, that may trigger even more uh, inflammation and be very careful about the essential oils. So now let's talk about the routine and what are the products that I do uh, recommend and that are really going to help you to cope with the symptoms. So let's start with the morning and you will see that especially when you have super dry skin, even more when you are taking isotretinoid, water is the 
biggest enemy for you because it will dry down your skin even uh, more and therefore this is why I recommend especially if you are taking a shower in the morning to use a product to coat your face to prevent any water to irritate even more your skin and there is one product that is absolutely fantastic from the French brand Avin. This is uh, this one this is the cleansing lotion which is a sort of uh, creamy slash uh, milk that is meant to cleanse the skin even though there is not a single cleansing agent but what this product is is that it is a sort of thick cream that will protect your skin from the water so just before taking your shower you put some on your hands you rub them and you put it all over your face and like that you will have this protective veil from the water once you have taken your, your shower you can take a super damp cotton pad to remove the excess of the cream and proceed to your routine. This is also an excellent tip for those of you who have super sensitive skin and when you put water you start to have those very uh, red patches. This product is fantastic for this. So the next step is to use an hydrating product. If you are not new to my channel this is not going to be a big surprise for you but what I constantly explain here on my channel and if you are new please consider to subscribe to my channel, is that for the skin barrier to be healthy and working properly, it requires water and also molecules to really uh, trap in this water. And how to increase the water content in your skin is by, by using products that are going to attract this water and we name them uh, humectants. One of them that is uh, really fantastic is glycerin, which is a very basic one, and also hyaluronic acid. I'm probably sure that you are very familiar with uh, this one. So one product that I'd love to recommend is simply this one from the Japanese brand Ada Labo. This is the Coco June, the essence. And this one is a blend of hyaluronic acid and glycerin. It has no other extract. It doesn't have any uh, perfume also. So it is a very safe formula. So the next step is to apply a really thick and emollient moisturizer. Definitely you will have to change your moisturizer. You want something very, very occlusive to really trap the water in because your skin will be deprived from your lipids. The thing is, uh, most commonly when you, tr when you are starting tretinoin, in the beginning of the treatment, your dermatologist most likely is going to give you a low dose of azotretinoin and then increase the dose through the treatment and therefore the sign of dryness will be even more uh, once you get used to the lower uh, dose so it means that you will need an even more ammonium and occlusive uh, moisturizer which is why what I like to recommend is actually to use two different moisturizer. One that is a, a little bit uh, lighter and another one that is really thick and really occlusive. And like this, you can do your own mix to add to the moisturizing um, effects. The two that I really like to recommend is the first one in this one. This is the Bioderma. This one is uh, the Riche. So in French, this is the in the Creline line, which is the Sensibio line in English. So this one, super basic formula, no perfume, uh, nothing. And what you can do is to mix a little bit with it. Uh, this one, which is the Cicabio, the pomade. The pomade is extremely thick, extremely um, emollient, and this is what I love about it. So you use this one as your prim primary moisturizer and then you are going to add a little bit of this one to increase the moisturizing um, effect for the day. Last but not least, in the morning, you will need to have a sunscreen. Obviously, it is even more important when you are doing those kind of uh, treatment because your skin is so sensitized, so inflamed by the treatment and so, so dry. You really don't want to add with the UV uh, damage, especially for the future uh, years, because remember that uh, UV, even though you don't see any damage uh, immediately in 10 and 20 years, you will see the damage. So this is extremely um, important. So what I do advise is that during this period when you are going to try um, to take this medicine, this treatment is only going to last probably for three to four months, something like that. It will depend on how the treatment is tolerated and etc. It is better to do it in winter or at least in a moment in the year when you know that you will not be exposed to um, the sun. It will be so much easier uh, for you. What I like to recommend on this channel is to have usually two types of sunscreen. Sunscreen that are more elegant and more pleasant. They are still SPF of 50 plus. If they are Asian, they are still peer rating of 4 
places but the uh, the primary element to them is that they are pleasant to use and pretty elegant but i am not sure that the uva protection is uh, sufficient and this is especially important for those of you who have fur skin like uh, me however when you know that you will be exposed to the sun you will need to have what i call a hardcore sunscreen and most of the time those hardcore sunscreen also comes with uh, more downsides such as a super greasier uh, texture and etc. And they are also harder to uh, remove. And because in the PM, I'm going to recommend you to have a super gentle cleansing uh, routine, those sunscreen will be harder to uh, remove, which is why I prefer to recommend that during this period, try to just stay away from the sun and to avoid it and therefore only use a more elegant sunscreen that is uh, easier to uh, rinse. Anyway, so an excellent sunscreen, very um, elegant, is simply this one from Purito. This is the Santella Green Level and Scented Sun. No essential oils. There is only extract from Santella Asiatica that are excellent to heal the skin, but you don't, you will not find any other, I would say, weird ingredient. And what I like about it is that it is uh, quite uh, moisturizing. And if you are on a Rakuten, this is definitely the one that you uh, want. Another one to consider is this one from Skin Aqua. This is the UV Super Moisturize Milk SPF 50 Plus Peer Rating of 4 Plus. So this one does contain zinc. Zinc oxide can be also a little bit drying. In this one, it is not um, that uh, drying on the skin. So this one is also a good option. Keep in mind that the Purito has 00, zero white cast. So if you have darker skin tone, this one will be perfect for you. While uh, this one does have a minimum white cast, it is barely there. If you have medium skin tone, it will be fine. But if you have a uh, very dark skin tone, it won't be for you. Two other sunscreens that are definitely in the situation where you will be exposed to um, a lot of sun. So in that case, you will need uh, what I call a hardcore sunscreen. So the one that I prefer the most is definitely this one. This is from the French brand SVR. This is the Cicavit Cream SPF 50 uh, Plus. What I love about it is that it is very, very eminent. And definitely if you have super dry skin or you are um, on Rakuten, this one would be uh, fantastic. Another one to consider, but it has a white cast. In this one from Ultrasun, this is the Fluid the SPF 50 Plus. And all the sunscreen that I've showed you are also uh, alcohol free. This is definitely an ingredient that you do not want in your routine when you are on isotretinoin. Okay, so let's talk about the PM routine. So in the PM, again, we are going only to focus on deeply moisturizing the skin and deeply uh, shield the skin from the irritation. And this starts with the cleansing process. What is going to happen in that during isotretinoin, you don't want to exfoliate your skin or you are just going to increase the dryness and all the inflammation, which is why I recommend an extremely gentle cleansing uh, routine to start with the same product in the morning, which is the cleansing lotion from having the tolerance uh, line. Something that I also forgot to mention is that this one is a sterile cosmetic. So it means that there is no preservatives and the dispenser over here does not allow any hair to come back uh, in the tube, which is why it is a little bit hard to squeeze out their product. So the way that you use it is pretty simple. You just put it a lot on your hand, massage your hand, and then you distribute it all over your face. And you need to spend a little bit of time to break down, especially the sunscreen. If you do want to wear any form of makeup during the day, try to not wear those pretty hardcore, long lasting and super high coverage uh, foundation because they are going to be very difficult to remove. Still, if uh, you wear those type of makeup, do probably two coats of this one. You do one coat, you remove it using a very damp uh, cotton pan, like a big one, and then you do another layer, but make sure to never scratch, uh, scratch your skin. This is very important. So then you rinse it very quickly and you use a water-based cleanser. So the two water-based cleanser that I have, first of all, this one from, uh, this is actually the one that I'm currently using from, again, Avin. This is the Extremely Gentle Cleanser Lotion. You can use this one on damp skin. This one is super, super gentle. Again, spend a little bit of time to massage in the lotion and then rinse uh, your face. Another one to consider, which is a new addition in my, um, 
uh, in my routine this one this is the Creole the foaming wash and oh my god this one is so gentle but so so good and it also has an acidic pH actually as this one once you have rinsed your skin you are going to pat it dry never again rub the towel on your face this is not something that you uh, want and immediately you are going to use the same serum as in the morning so the Adadabo Essence and then you are going to use the same serum as in the morning so the Adadabo the Coco June Essence and just after use your moisturizer so again I recommend the mixture of the two of the Creadine uh, of the Sensibio Ridge with the pomade and what you can do at night is that on the very dry part especially uh, this area or around the mouth after applying the mix of moisturizer you go back straight away with the pure pomade and you are going to put it on those re really dry uh, parts so now we are going to talk about a specific area which are the lips and i'm also going to uh, give you an amazing uh, tips to even increase even more the moisturizing um, effect so the lips is definitely one of uh, the trickiest part, especially when you are on a recutane, because they are so, so dry that they are going to uh, bleed. So it is of utmost importance that you use a super, super occlusive lip balm. So the best lip balm that I know is this one from Uriage from the Barioderm. This is the ointment for cracks. So it was not meant originally for the lips, but it works so wonderfully. So this is definitely one to consider. Also, because it was not made for the lips, you get uh, 40 grams, which is 1.4 weight oz, something like that. I don't know well my units in uh, the American uh, system, but basically you get a lot of it, which is excellent. And my last tip is to top it with this product that uh, is only made usually for babies, which is uh, Bepantene, the pomade. So this one is really rich also in uh, panthenol and lanolin. So it's very thick, very uh, emollient, and this is going to save your lips. And I remember when um, I was on Recutain and had uh, those really, really uh, super chap lips, this product definitely saved my lips. What you can also do is that when you are coming back uh, home at night and you have again those areas that are super dry, instead of using uh, the Cicavio pomade that I've just showed you, you can also use the Bipantan all over uh, your face. So comment down below and tell me if you have any question regarding this uh, routine. Also, don't worry too much about the side effects. I know this sounds and looks extremely scary, but they are not. This is just a, a period of your time and most likely you will be so, so happy with the results. Anytime, if you have any question or any worries regarding this treatment, ask your dermatologist. They are there for uh, this reason and they are uh, qualified uh, doctors. If you are not happy with your dermatologist, just change. So if you like this video, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. I thank you so, so much for watching me. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am Cyril Laurent. I have a lot of stuff uh, here and um, every day I post something new on my stories. So definitely go and check it out. Again, thank you for your time and for being here and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, take care.